Hey guys, still there. Welcome back to Ash and Shadows. Today I'm starting out Booz and Pocket to see how they've changed this. This is the easiest campaign that is available. Uh, that could have changed if the units have been changed a lot. But generally this is a pretty easy campaign. I'm going to cut through all of the chatter here. Uh, what do we have? What do they have? We have oh, 48 A5s. And K2s. So Chung Su 5 yes, yes. Habian Commandos with a long range AT. Jigsaw Huggy Bun. And Leclerc Kufra and K1A2s. Holy crap, that's a lot of tank firepower. Degu. Which one was the urban map? Yeah, that's Degu. Um, Yebigun with the Metis for some reason. This is a sort of AT specialized militia nowadays. And with a 55% accuracy and 26 or 25 AP, that Matisse is not to be taken lightly. So Chung Su 85, Habian Commandos, and again, Recorder's Rifles. Up here, K2, K2 Pips. Holy crap. And K1s. They're going to be coming in with... Oh my god, is that all? 12 frontal armor, 20 gun. 24 frontal armor, 23 gun. <laughs> sure. Over here, Shilka. So AA, meaning that an attack on Daegu or a counter on Daegu with planes is going to be more complicated. A couple of Strela. Uh, type A5s and ATS 103s. Ooh, these have a fairly powerful gun on them. 27 AP. Definitely dedicated anti-tank units. And artillery. And over here. Strela. B Banchung Po. Uh, T55 Type 63s. And artillery. What can I call in? Anti-air. Uh, attack helicopter. Apache Guardians. Hellfires and SAMs. H1J with rocket pods. Okay, anti-tank company. Uh, that's not an anti-tank company, that's a mortar. These are definitely anti-tank. Artillery. And anti-air. Which is not actually anti-air. Habian commandos are AT. Pegasus are definitely AA, and so are the K263s. Now I still have quite a few units left. We have the heavy armored battalion with K1s. Uh, recon, logistics, seals, H1J Syrian. This feels like such an unfair match. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to send out the tanks because they only have two cohesion. I should have plenty of firepower on this part. Despite that they're coming in with a couple of tanks. So we're going to send the tanks here. That's the K1s. As for the helicopters, special aviation. Mm. Yeah, that's that real open map. Seals could be handy in these buildings or those buildings. If I can get them there. 25 AP versus 12 armor. You're going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have a fob? No, you don't. Do you have recon? Yeah, two fiats. Alright, we're going to send some more fiats this way. And ask for a fob. None of these groups have a fob attached to them. I don't know. Here. Planes. F-35 Biongays, that's JDAMs, um, Peace Pheasants, HGMs, and finally Peace Bridges with rocket pods and anti-tank, heavy anti-tank weapons, as well as AMRAMs. I'm going to send those here, because I might be finding FC-25Ks in my way. Peace Pheasants, uh, here, you guys here. As for reinforcements, I'm going to hold off on those. 
because I should have more than enough firepower to deal with anything they throw at me here. Okay, Daegu first. 3 cohesion, 5 cohesion, plus nothing, uh, plus 2, 4, 2, so that's another 8, plus 3 is 11. 56 units of infantry, Strela, Bachongzu's, pretty dangerous anti-tank. Um, in an anti-infantry role, I'm not expecting too much of a performance out of these guys. It's just that there's a lot of them. AA, Arty, and anti-tank. Okay, I have K1s. Those could be sniped by those SU-30s. I just want to try and neutralize as many of the infantry as possible, so set up defenses here, there, there. Uh, hold on to all of these sectors. Busan, maybe, although not too likely. I'm going to get the Koryongs ready to start firing at anything that might come across these bridges. Unfortunately, I do not have a lot of spotting, just a couple of Suzak Day. Yeah, we can make this happen. The only thing that I need to look out for is not getting uh, too lenient in the way that I'm looking at these. Why the hell do we have a resupply unit with a machine gun? That's new. Ah, we only have two command units? Great. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Rookies. I do like the scorpion. That's a powerful weapon. Grenade launchers. Set up defenses here, here. Uh, I usually deploy recoilless rifles in here and in there. I want some more Sochong Su defending this place here. Two there and two along these lines. Actually, let's make that a few more. Another two. Uh, I'm not sure how good these Habian commanders are going to be at this bridge, although they are fire and forget. I have a couple of tanks starting to push along this side. Tanks. Uh, time for the artillery to come in. Two and two. And that leaves me with just one tank. I'll have that one over here. Launch. Alright, drop off. I want the scorpions to stick around, but not get too close to the fight. You guys over there, you over here, drop off and fall back. Move, drop off, fall back to the buildings. Drop off the command unit. Um, assume threats are going to be coming down this area very soon. Oh, snap. And they also have AGGMs, apparently. Gonna have to let them waste a couple of those AGGMs. Drop off. Fall back. Infantry in the building, right now. Give me a tank here. Holy crap, that's a lot of HGMs. What is all that? Party. Hmm. They brought in quite a lot of stuff here. Including a command unit, just like that. Let these guys come into the town first. My scorpions to engage. What are these things? Transports? Yeah, probably just transports. Is your command vehicle dead? Fall back and one attack. It's one AA gun down. These guys are not rookies anymore. Come on, one more round. 
good man. All right, you're gonna get some cargos. Now they're coming across this bridge here. With a lot of firepower, apparently. It's the Suzong Pose. Those are lobbing AGGMs at me. That's all that firepower, apparently. Oh, shit. Jixas are killed. What about the tanks ahead over here? They might be sniped, but so be it. I can always get more. What is that? Is that a sniper team? Yep, he's launching. The accuracy on these recordless rifles is terrible. Holy shit. Is that infantry? Yeah, and a lot of it. Artillery here. It's a bit of a chaotic fight today. Scorpions fall back, you're taking a lot of fire. Infantry move up. We have a lot of transports to kill here. Might be a bit too much machine gun fire for these guys to hold. Oh, hang on, what? Oh! I think we got the command unit. Yep. Kills 2172, losses 255, so that's about a 10 times markup. Infantry losses 28, 2 Shilkas, 6 recon units, 3 AA, and no aircraft. Own losses, 4 recoilless rifles, 3 tanks, and that's it. These are definitely going to need a bomber group. Uh, what do we have in Yue Chang? Yue Chang comes in with no, 64 tanks, all reconnaissance tanks, and a bunch of infantry. No HGMs, with the exception of the Susung Pose again. My tanks, K2s, K1A2s, and M48s. Command units. Two. Uh, do we need planes here? Peace pheasants, maybe? For additional sniping firepower. Additional land units? Um, nah. Not really. Yubi Chang. Launch. Okay, they can come in from Jiu Chang or Delta. Let's train up some tanks. K2s. Holy shit, those things are expensive. Especially if you want to deploy more than one. Fob there. Hold on to this sector. And hold on to Jiu Chang. And we can have two more of these for further support. Do we have reconnaissance? Uh, not at the moment. One here, and I cannot afford another one. Okay, you're going to go here. I'll wait a few ticks and bring in another one. Cross these bridges. Get another Leclerc over. Switch to fast. There's your targets. Oh, you even spawned on their side. Okay. This is just a turkey shoot. No challenge in this campaign whatsoever. Let's 
Seriously, why did you guys want me to do this campaign? Look at this, this is just... Like I said, turkey shoot. Hello, bye, dead, done. That was about 90 seconds. Uh, killed a whole infantry battalion. Killed all command units, strailers, infantry, and five tanks. Yeah. Uh, Jongjok. Couple tanks. Again, inferior make and model. Best firepower is 15 and 20. My best defense is 24, with 23 on the gun. And since they only have 12 frontal armor, they should down, go down very, very quickly. They do, however, have SU-25Ks. Um, if I call in an anti-air company, ah, it's just a bunch of Pegasus. Well, it's better than nothing. And KF-16Cs with their long-range AMRAMs should be able to at least get some hits on the SU-25Ks, but these things are very heavily armored. That's a pretty difficult aircraft to kill, that SU-25. Okay, command helo back here. How many do I have? Uh, a decent number. Actually, let's make it a command tank. Let's have two piece or two KF sixteen Cs ready at all times. I have infantry, UDT seals in Ven oh Venoms. Well this changes everything. In case you haven't met the Venom yet. The Venoms are capable of delivering a lot of death from above because they have rocket pods which have heat charges on them. They are extremely accurate and extremely lethal to tanks. And if I have those, I don't even think I might need my tanks. Just to be sure, I will have some deployed and as a sort of welcome slash defense but I don't really think I'm going to need these too much. Thirty-eight points. Let's have one aircraft in patrol. I've seen these things one-shot artillery, one-shot AA. They're just extremely lethal. Things that I most want to see are their tanks. That's a fob. Hold. Contact. Look at that. That was three rockets. Two rockets even. Done. Dead. More 323s. I could have some sort of elite seals. Thanks to the transports getting promotions. I wonder if the AI knows how to properly use this battle group. I don't think so. Contacts here. Oh. Unexpected. Kill. Jesus. You're elite. You don't get to play anymore. Next. Oh, we're not having that. Venom took him out. Is that their last command? Or did they decide to bring in something else? Uh, yeah, they decided to bring in something else. But it might be retreating by this point. Let's get that one fixed. This one moving. This one moving fast. You, you, and you move up. Yep, they have it again. 
Hold on. Thanks. You're already elite, though. You're not. Neither are you. You get to take... Oh, so there's a command? Might be. What is that? Definitely not a command. Kill, 25 points. So those took a few more rounds than expected. Full, full flight of Venoms over here. Oh shit. Yeah, he got him. Maybe I can shoot this one down. Nope. Shit, full back. Lost another K2 pip because I'm getting a bit over enthusiastic with my forces. Bit too risky. That moment when the transports are more dangerous than the contents. That's just wrong. It looks like they're trying to engage my K1, but missing every shot. Got him. Just trying to secure that fob. You might be able to immediately use it to resupply those venoms. You're still slightly out of range. There you are. Unfortunately, he is out of APA or AP rockets, but I think that those GAU-19 should be plenty. FOB captured. Of course, now they start taking shots at the FOB. Got him. Oh, it's still not your last one. Oh, it is. So, yeah, it is. They still have two, no, three command units left. We killed 15 tanks, mostly with rocket pods. Losses, two K2s, and one K111. Alright. So, surprise, surprise, we held the line. Uh, R&R. &R. And the turn. Next round. Yu Chang. Again, infantry, 48 units, Bo Chong Su, Gong Bob Yong, so those are the engineers. Uh, again, the SU 30s. And they now have a couple of further fire support units. I'm down to 9 tanks. My infantry is looking healthy. I have no air support, but I do have the Kor Yong. And I'm expecting to use these guys to suppress their firepower a bit. Just to try and stun them, and as such, make them less effective against my infantry. I still only have two command units. I need to look into that in the next reinforcement turn. Okay, uh, most of these guys started out as rookie, and I even have one elite. I'm going to send another... Let's say six forward here. Two there. Uh, one here. No, make that two. Habian Commandos carry 28 missiles between them with 70% accuracy. But I'm not too sure about their positioning. Maybe just along here, along the sidelines. I'm going to tank with them. I'm going to reconnaissance unit with them. I'm going to have 
two core youngs over here, two of them here, and I want to have a couple of tanks standing by. That means that I might just be able to bring in two more. Doesn't mean I have a tank, or means that I do not have a tank here. So I'll just have to make do with what I have. Oh, I forgot these buildings. Whatever, the tanks can cover that. First Artie Salvo. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Contact. Oh, shit. Sniped at one of my commandos. Oh, actually, the commando survived. Fortunately. That seemed like a very large explosion. For whatever that was. We're firing at 37% accuracy. That's not a whole lot. Suppression seems to be working. Looks like I knocked out quite a few of them. So much so that they will not be effective anymore. Next salvo. They do have artillery back here. Come on. Fire. They won't. Why are you all shaken? What happened there? Sniper team. I was wondering what was spotted on all of these units. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, this is perfect timing for this rocket salvo. K1 should have no problem in taking out whatever survives that last salvo. Uh, they're coming with artillery again. What's that? Already. Charge him down. Oh, you guys are not in the structure. Surprise, surprise. That's gonna get you killed. These things blow up nicely. You're gonna take a hit. Again, a couple of explosions. Now for those commandos to move. Really? Come a little closer, I dare you. One down. There's a lot of infantry coming in. Come on. Tanks. And let's get the scorpions to move, because I think they're getting a perfect grenade launcher salvo at these guys. Okay, that's not good. Oh, snap. What are you launching at? Okay, I'm going to lose quite a few commandos here, I think. Stop lobbing your missiles at the same targets. Kill, kill. Come on. One, two, and three. Okay, so we didn't lose any. That's good work. Let lose some scorpions here. Get the tanks to move. These are apparently out of range. Okay, ones can move up a little. Dealing with those napalm tanks. Get 
get these scorpions to go on the offensive. Shit, aircraft. Say goodbye to one of the K1s. Still have no AA here. More arty. These things are getting so close that the infantry can now deal with them. Wow. Okay, machine guns at short range are absolutely lethal. See, this is the point. I'm getting a bit careless. Capture these. What's all that? Infantry. Okay. Do a bit of a drive-by, but your main objective is the artillery. Fuck. I'm gonna lose a lot of infantry here. Mostly thanks to carelessness. We haven't captured these cargoes. Ah, oh, they cannot capture the other command zones either. Hmm. That might have been it. The Strelas. I think those guys must have been countering the capture of the cargoes. Okay. Already first, please. What happened to you guys that you got panicked? Good kill. Still have some missiles left on these. I don't know if we have the range though. All the infantry's dying. Yep. Completely forgot about these K1s. Brilliant. Ah, there you were. Just waiting for you to show up. There. So that was careless. They did take out the infantry and the fire support, but losses were far higher than what they needed to be. So Chung Su, four K1s. Leaves me at just five of these. Um, I wonder what's going to be coming back next round. Not too much, I think. Ah, the US is here. Good. Okay, there's the carrier. That's Nimitz. Can move forward and immediately go on the offensive. Go to Seoul, Chorwon, and Sokcho. Can we drop them off immediately? Yeah, we can. I remember when I first got Red Dragon and I had no idea how to disembark Marines. It's the most annoying thing. Okay, uh, Marines. What would this battle look like in Seoul? That looks like 56 units of infantry, bunch of tanks, bunch of gunships, a couple of anti-ship planes, gunships, no tanks. I have Marines, small, Avengers, M60 ERA, LEV FSVs, STB-90H, but only two of these. Four independence class ships, long range against helos, so they should be fine. M60 ERA, I can even send in planes. And I know I have a helicopter group. Ah, they don't have the initiative anyway. I was hoping I could immediately drop these in Troll 1, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Um, yeah, I might as well send you in as well. I have tornadoes. Tornadoes? British aircraft on an American fighter group? Sure. They have shell cannot locatable. These things are locatable. They also have these and these. Yeah, we're definitely going to send in the prowlers. If only to take care of their artillery. Okay, let's hit Seoul. Go. And I know I can call in a lot more battle groups, but I want to save those reinforcement points. Okay, plan. Hold one independence class here. 
Uh, push to Bravo, capture that. Push to Yonan, capture that. Then try to get as many of these zones captured and just completely destroy the battle group. Not give them a chance to retreat or withdraw anywhere. Just capture it, destroy the entire section, everything that's in there. With the Indies here, uh, I want an LCU or two in the back. STB-90, staggered. Monitors ready. Uh, airplanes. I can call in Marines now, although the LVTP-7A1s are slow ground units. Mm, yeah, I'm going to have to do it anyway. Whether I want to or not. Smalls? No. But I do want a command unit. Let's go for a command unit for support. And I think... Yeah, that should do it. Alright, multitude of targets. Light them up. Helicopters first. There's a good number of those. Monitors. back. You guys have the range for that? Oh yeah, well, sort of. The M49. Engage it, Will. Quite get the Marines to get in yet. I think that's a bit risky at this point. Uh, drop them here. I did lose a monitor. Bombs away. AA there. Lost the tornado. Killed three. Send in the seed aircraft. Independences are mostly fine, although one has taken some damage. Lost the SRB-90. So trying to get the Marines. Oh, Marines are taking fire. Pongay spotted. Start taking out some AA and then some Artie. That's one. That looks like an Artie kill. actually lob shells that far? That would be really handy. What's all that? Transports? Yeah, transports. Oh, you took a big hit. What is that? Reconnaissance helicopter. I probably... Yeah, I lost the prowler, but... At great cost to them. Independence here, next independence, and the next one. You guys to move up. I want an LCU to resupply here. Comanche moving up. Comanche unit moving up. And I think it's about time to send in some tanks. I do need to fire, uh, or find and fire, at those AA units. If I can get those killed, that should speed things along nicely and allow my tornadoes to have a bit more freedom here. Drop there. I might lose the bomber, but I don't really mind at this point. Bombs away. Marines are now ashore. Drop off the Marines. Just gonna have to walk in for now. Okay, he took a big hit, but he's alive. That's more than the other ones can say for now. Monitors to come in. Marines, this building. Marines, that building. You guys push here. Of to peace, push at range. My stats, my 
Okay, transports and an assortment of surviving reservists, I think. Oh, there's a lot more. There's your AA. Was your AA. Drop off. Now we have tanks. Gonna bring in some air power. Lob some shells at these Yukude. Uh, yeah, militia. Hold. Airstrike coming in hot. I wonder how many we can take out in one blast. Shit, that's the AA. Tornado dodged everything. That's all of them. Uh, where's the command? Because I think we might be able to just roll through. Thank you very kindly. Move up, move up, move up. Monitors, get inland. Uh, you don't really need to repair an independence class. Those things have plenty of hit points. So the Ponge, we're just taking it out by gunfire, I think. Contacts here, here, and here. Fall back. Send in seed. Take out some arty. Now, I have a lot of helicopters, but I'm not sure about using those just yet. For this express purpose, Pongays. We know the Prowler. I'm 60s to push. Fall back a little. Boom. Sniper team. Shit, I did lose an LVTP. Fire at will. M60s have no smoke dischargers, unfortunately. Where's my Comanche? Here. Okay, I have 28 minutes left. The 105s are taking a beating. But they're proving quite the roadblock here. Marines, keep going. As soon as we can get this sector, soon we can bring in reinforcements. Let's get you out of here. They're pretty much all out of ammo. Alright, sector neutralized, sector captured. Captured. Uh, Marines. No, that's Smalls. This is Marines. I can respawn right on top of a group. M60s yep. move east. Oh, all the monitors actually made it out alive. I had not expected that. I thought it would take quite a few losses here. So far, so good. I need you to hold on to this building. Here we go. Command she start hunting. Command vehicle on the move. You, you and you keep going to Charl 1. There's the command vehicle. Are you sniping LVTPs? Literally? What are your orders, sir? I think they just might be. Drop what off. Order, sir? Order, sir? Command vehicle running off. Who do you want us to 
I don't think we actually killed that one. Yet. You got him. Send forward a command unit. You here, drop off. Capture that sector, fall back. LCU to repair. Fire support vehicle here, LVTP's there. Uh, take over the fob, kill some artillery. So far the fights only lasted 15 minutes. That's all. Wow, these monitors get fixed up fast. Nice. Go in there and take care of everything that you see. Looks like the tanks have been repaired somewhat. One more command unit over there. And I just have everything that I need. Is that the command? No. I don't think so. I oh, fuck, they did take care of one of them. Fob captured. It's a cargo truck. It seems like this campaign is even easier than it normally is. I want you guys not to kill that one. What's all that? Infantry. I'm going to do something a bit unusual. I'm going to not fire at the command unit. I don't want it in the sector. I want them to try and run it out of the sector. But I don't want it dead. Ah, shit. Tanks got it. Ah, uh, total victory. See, if I'd killed, or not killed that command unit, and brought over my own command unit, and captured the sector, all of them would be gone. Whereas right now, they're just running. Okay, we can use the port. Uh, US Task Force. Armored Battalion. Need something with initiative. No. Something like that. Hit them. These guys cannot fight anyway, so... Hold on. Wrong sector. You... Oh. Right, these guys don't have any command on them. I was sort of hoping that they would. 20 M1A1s. That's something used to kick down a door. Boom. Okay. What they have left is an air attack, anti-tank, airborne reg. Map, wide open. Okay, what else can we bring in from the US? Another armored battalion. M60s. Eh. Whatever, why not? Okay, um, I'm going to leave it here, because I've done 48 minutes so far, so it's slightly under 50. I was hoping to do the whole campaign in one episode, but that's not going to work out. So next episode we're going to do Yongjok, Yui Chang, uh, potentially deal with a counter-attack. I'm not sure if they are going to be trying something here, but they might. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for the next episode.